Well, a very warm welcome to you on this most pleasantly clear evening. Conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Perfect surely the this game. is the hot ticket going around well. in this neck of the woods, no doubt it surely must be. we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature we stand for the national anthem of france Well, that has got the juices flowing, and now this. This is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Yes, Peter, it's a shame it's only a, a friendly, but then again, that may help us see a more expressive attacking contest. And I'd be prepared to settle for a, a clash of, of lesser intensity in favour of, of lots of flair, skill and plenty of tricks and a few goals. I suspect I've probably overstretched my, my level of greed here. There's the whistle, and here we go. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Of course, Antoine Griezmann. He's got a bit of everything, Peter. Speed, great technical ability, and the priceless gift of being able to make all the right decisions at the right times. Personally, I really like the way he can always take a little touch to give himself that half a yard of space. He needs to get a shot away, and he doesn't miss too many either, does he? Yeah, the easiest way to make a difference is to score, so no argument there. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Pavar. Pogba. And it's Giroud. Gets it back. Bruno Fernandes. Ricardo Pereira, this is quite a run and he's not done yet, and he's cut it out. France, get it back again. Mbappe. Oh, he's not going to get that. That's a throw. Shiru, Shiru, and he's there to make a great save. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his his high-class rage. Jamutinho, hoists it high. Delightful ball. Matuidi. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Ball's loose, who's getting there? Strong challenge, but well within the laws. Going through. Oh, shooting chance! 
That's unlucky, just wouldn't come down. Look, I'm sure he'll deny it, Peter, but the keeper didn't have that covered. Done very well to intervene, and he's straight offside. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Guerrero very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! And that certainly packed a punch. Pavar. It's a loose ball. And it's Pogba. Pogba has got himself a free kick. And here's Griezmann. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal. And he didn't go for the back heel. Giroud plays it backwards. And they'll try again. Matuidi. Crunching tackle. Well, that's pretty clear. It is a foul. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. Tries to get it clear. Guerrero battles to win it back. Andre Silva. There he goes, motoring forward. And back to base. Pepe. Bruno Fernandes. Pepe with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. It's Matuidi. Real chance! Ricardo Pereira. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes spreads it towards the left. Cristiano Ronaldo. Conte, Pogba, and it's Giroud, Mbappe, Ricardo Pereira, forward it goes, Bruno Fernandes, in the end they found themselves penned in, nowhere to go, dashing forward at pace, Pavar has come steaming up from the back for this. And the referee brings the first half to a close.
On both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Well, to review the first half. Yeah, and despite the scoreline, it's clear who the better side is when it comes to chances. If this is the trend that's going to continue, then there's only going to be one winner here, and uh, I don't think it's going to take too much improvement for it to happen. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. The start of the second half. Well, that first 45 minutes didn't deliver as we'd hoped. Lots of effort, but... Uh... Griezmann! Oh, that's caused the worry or two. His reputation is better than what we've just seen. Pepe drives it forward. And it's Bernardo Silva. And it's Ben Yedda. Griezmann. Griezmann is fouled. And he's going to have his name taken. More than oh, he's not played the ball, that's a foul. Well, you might think he got off lightly, it is just a verbal warning. Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Ricardo Pereira, good idea, just poorly executed. Ruben Diaz. Jean Moutinho. Guerrero. Ronaldo has it in a wide position, so what next? He's gone for it! He's done very well to get to that.
Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra-sharp. Cristiano Ronaldo is an obvious threat from set pieces. He needs special attention to stop making a run. Pogba has gone out. He's given a throw. Beautifully done. And helps available out wide. Throw it. In TT. It was on the back foot. Dinks one in. Andre Silva. Dinks has got rid of that. That's just an example of over committing and they're fortunate for the quality of the intervention it was vital Bruno Fernandes Bruno Fernandes puts his foot on the gas and the defence can get it clear it's a very good battle there terrific to watch it's Andre Silva Mbappe, it is still anyone's game, nil-nil. Loris gets it upfield. Just brushed off the ball there. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Danilo Pereira. Cristiano Ronaldo. He just whacks it away. Portugal showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Goes down, but nothing given. And that is as far as they're going to go. Is there any... Andre Silva! Oh, that's a fine save! Andre Silva simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Griezmann out to the right. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ed. with the crossfield ball. Look, their supporters must be going barmy about this because there's no sense of purpose in what we're seeing. Pogba tries to get it forward quickly. Guerrero did well to step in there. That was more than necessary. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Good stop. That wasn't easy. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Conte, Kante switches it towards the other side, Pavar plays it forward, and the ball is out of play.
Conte. Mbappe. And that is that. And stalemate. One, if not for fans, then perhaps for coaches. Satisfied by organisation and solidity. With a cutting edge at either end. And it finishes nil-nil. What are your thoughts on today's game then, Jim? Portugal certainly had some good moments, Peter. There were plenty of encouraging spells that more should have been made of. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening. Well, good evening to you and uh, welcome on this most perfect evening for a game of football. Conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match. Why wouldn't they? It is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game. Everybody has been attracted to it. It has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed. Double-decker buses lining up outside. Coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle wonderful scenes here in the dutch capital inside this terrific arena one that does more than justice to the stature of the man whose name it bears down the gauntlet with that anthem now to match it
sporting game this between two very high quality sides a treat for everybody here well get ready for some high grade football Peter two strong teams as you say full of wonderful individual talent and we have every right to anticipate some really entertaining football as to whether we'll see a high scoring contest that's a little harder to predict I'm not complaining though because there are good players everywhere you look around this surface and that's a fine start in itself. So off we go then. So Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Hugo Lloris. His lightning fast reactions. It's Andre Silva! It's there! What a start! And what a contribution from the main man. I had a feeling he might do something given his reputation, but to do it like that, absolutely brilliant. I wasn't expecting that. That has brought the house down. What a wonderful hit. Is it just me or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plum. I doubt very much that this was in the script. Conte. Keeper's got good distance on that. That's a foul. Simple decision for the referee. Mbappe, Conte, oh, he's caught him there, it's a free kick, and here's Giroud, oh, nice touch, and it's Conte. Bernardo Silva, absolutely focused then on the defensive side of his game. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here. Matuidi. Forward it goes. A real chance to break. He's through. Bruno Fernandes. He gets past his man. Titi plays it forward. Griezmann. Ruben Diaz. Ronaldo set up one goal so far. And it's Conte. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Pogba loses his balance and loses the ball. Well, it did look promising to start with, but in the end they were thwarted before they could even make it into the foot. It's one! about that I think they perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front they really commit forward in numbers too it was all very well drilled his second of the game and an eye now for the hat trick So that's two now without reply. 
Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Guerrero. Danilo Pereira. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Rafael Varane. Hoists it forward. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Hernandez. Ricardo Pereira. He's given away a free kick. And he is going into that little black book. I just think it was a, a cheap foul to give away. Conte, and here's Griezmann, and here's Matuidi. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Cristiano Ronaldo. There are a few waiting for it. Flings in across. Andre Silva. Andre Silva opts to play it back. And it's Xiao Moutinho. Xiao Moutinho plays it out to... Heads it! Lovely header, but really it was all about the delivery. Oh, look, it's it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle. But that was beautifully met, it really was. Portugal take a three-goal lead, and they are romping out of sight. Bruno Fernandes. Hernandez. Conte. Keeper sends it forward. Dinks one in. And that's sprayed out wide. Jean Moutinho, five minutes till the break. Guerrero, Cristiano Ronaldo has a pop. Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. Hernandez tries to get it forward quickly. Cristiano Ronaldo, Bernardo Silva, who has made his impact already. Loris gets it upfield. Bernardo Silva tries lifting it over. Fence has got rid of that. Rafael Varan. He's had a look and he's blown his whistle for half time. As easy as one, two, three. It really has been that straightforward. 
halfway through the match, but very little to suggest that much will change in the second half. This looks well and truly sewn up already, Peter, but please feel free to forget what I've just said if there's a spectacular turnaround. Portugal 3 0 up at the break, precisely as they would have dreamt it. Here we go again, then. Matridi. Nicely measured pass. Could move up a gear here. And it's Danilo Pereira. Guerrero. Well weighted. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. A chance to play it in. Danilo Pereira. Guerrero, Guerrero decides to play it back. He could be in here. Has a goal! They scored! Comfort, yet more comfort, easing away. Portugal are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter attacking heaven.
It's become a case of men against boys. Matuidi. Bernardo Silva. Andre Silva goes long. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Hernandez. And Titi. Pogba. Hernandez. What a good way to assert your authority for this second period. They were prepared to commit numbers forward into attacking positions, and the risk has been deserved. Hits one! Oh, that is faded wide. Oh, I'm not sure what he had in mind, and I don't think he knew either. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. And that's found its target. Pavar. Kante drives it forward. And he's made sure that that won't get through. From TT. Matuidi. Havar. He's found his man. Mbappe. Delivery from Mbappe. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. Griezmann with the short one. In with the challenge. No foul, says the referee. Griezmann, here it comes. Has a pop! Ah, oh, that's great defending to cover for the goalkeeper and just get something in the way. Guerrero. France uh, keeping their men at arm's length here. Yeah, I just think it's a, a conservative move to deny runners the opportunity of, of going beyond that rear guard. Pavard. Some good work on the right flank. Now, what's next? Hopper with the crossfield ball. Kept it out, that's a great save. France are showing good urgency, but they have to place more emphasis on service into the box. <laughs> but there's going to be another change here. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but you couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so... It's no surprise. Guerrero tries to stroke it through. Around gets rid without sophistication.
Hit into the mid. Header! Decent chance. That is a fine delivery. Well, he did get himself into a good position. Something for him to cling to. Portugal really have been alive to interceptions and picking off any loose balls. Bernardo Silva looking as though he's being given special treatment here. Treatment he could well do without. Yeah, and they finally reacted, but they could have been more switched on before he, he scored. Well played, he saw that coming. Bernardo Silva. Well read, he sorted that out. Pavar. And it's played forward. Now it's Ben Yedda. Ben Yedda. Bruno Fernandes. Ricardo Pereira. That's a decent ball. Oh, I needed a better pass there. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Good catch by the keeper, though pretty much straight at him. And that will be the final act. Portugal winners of a no contest. They just slumped their opponents in superior quality. Would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Portugal certainly ran a perfect race from start to finish. Out of the blocks quickly, they got themselves in front and they just didn't look back. Well, thanks to Jim alongside me. And as the fans make their way home, so must we. Good evening to you. So we're up and running. 
So, Jim, who would you identify as the key man in this fixture? Yeah, Samuel Mtiti. He's a very fine defender, of course, but it's what he contributes offensively that I find very impressive, Peter. When he plays in his favourite left-centre-back position, he's able to use the fact that he's left-footed to step away from the press and just stride upfield, lifting the tempo and getting his team moving. Yeah, the scourge of so many strikers. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Mbappe. And it's Bernardo Silva. Defenders on the back foot. That's a decent ball. Chance! Cristiano Ronaldo. Havard simply had to make that count, and he did it with some authority too. Wonderful. Havar. Varane with the crossfield ball. Hernandez pushes to get on the end of it. Bruno Fernandes with a good steal, well played. Andre Silva. Andre Silva! Oh, the keeper's done ever so well. Andre Silva simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Ruben Diaz, Cristiano Ronaldo, Guerrero is charging up on the overlap, in with a header! Varane goes looking, Ricardo Pereira, Still goalless at the moment. Bruno Fernandes. Now a chance to break. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Pavard. In with the challenge. Now it's Griezmann. Griezmann unable to make it happen for all his good intentions. Christian. Oh, shooting chance! Titi gets rid without sophistication. Pogba drives it forward. Oh, they can break here. And it's Griezmann. Mbappe hoists it high. Kante proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Cristiano Ronaldo. Andre Silva. He's played him through. Hernandez. Come back to the keeper. Keeper's got good distance on that. And here's Griezmann. He's through now, is he? Had a shot. No, not quite. France have found chances hard to come by, so that's perfectly understandable.
Jao Moutinho, and it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Shot a goal! The question, that's a foul. Too close for comfort. Pereira. Ball through needs to be good here. Timely intervention. No messing about, just bludgeoned the way. Lobs it in gently. Xiao Moutinho. Bernardo Silva. Can take with the slide tackle there. And it's Guerrero. Cristiano Ronaldo. Has a goal! But an audacious effort. Oh, that's fantastic improvisation he showed there. Adjusted himself very quickly, but it's rare that they come off. I think he's got rid of that chance! Crowd reaction tells you just how close that was. Ricardo Pereira probably tried a bit too hard then. He should have relied on technique as opposed to power. That's not the ball he wanted. And we hit half time. Both, both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. So there was the first half. Portugal really did turn up the tempo at the end of the half, and while they'll be disappointed not to have broken through, obviously, the chances will come provided they can keep producing good spells. It's been a half with significantly more positives than negatives, I feel. Interesting half, just missing goals. So don't be surprised if the second half brings a change to the scoreline at the break. Nil-nil.
and we're off again. Portugal clearly have been the better side for me. Yeah, I know the score doesn't quite reflect it, but if they go about their game in the, in the same manner as the opening 45 minutes, things really should improve. Great run on the overlap here. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. And that's going to be a booking. Well, this is worrying. He is not the sort of player who tends to stay down. Bernardo Silva with the clearance. He's on his way. It's Matuidi! And he's there to make a great save. Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were ultra sharp. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. That could spell trouble. Ricardo Pereira. Bruno Fernandes. Over to the left. Cristiano Ronaldo has a pop! That's gone a long way up and away. Mbappe. Pass needed to be better than that, and he knows it. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, the idea was right. The delivery wasn't. They can revisit that further on. Finds himself eased off the ball. Dinks one in. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. Hernandez. Pavar. Riesman is on to it and can take it up. Tweedy. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Bruno Fernandes. TT. No breakthrough and well into the second period. It is still anyone's game. Matuidi. Did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger. Forward it goes. Oh, good interception. Matuidi. Not played the ball, that's a foul. And here's Ben Yedda. Done very well to intervene. It's found its way to him. Plays it out to the wing. 
France look completely out of sorts when it comes to crucial moments, Peter. They've lost composure in that killer instinct. Cristiano Ronaldo. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Just brushed off the ball there. Rafael Varan. Pavard. France really looking like men possessed. They need... And that's clear cut. It's a free kick. And no surprise, that's a booking. Defending of the desperate variety. France merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Keeper sends it forward. Rafael Varan. As scoreless games go, I'd be happy to see this one carry on a bit longer because it's had great honesty and hard work and total commitment as for a possible winner I'm still not predicting Conte Matuidi Bruno Fernandes plays it forward and he's shown him a clean pair of heels Cristiano has a hit You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Could move up a gear here. There's no flag. Up for the header! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. And it's Griezmann. Hit. And that is it. The referee has seen it off. And it looked nil-nil from a fair way out. A little craft or guile or penetration. Defence is largely untroubled. It's goals. So that's got things on the way. Who do you think this turns on, Jim? Yeah, Kylian Mbappe. There's nothing more frightening for a defender when he's running at you. A full... Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, denied brilliantly! Oh, that's a sparkling save. Absolutely sparkling. His reflexes were... It's Cristiano Ronaldo! He's pulled off a fine save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. That has sent him sprawling. Pogba. Griezmann. It's a loose ball. Griezmann looking for a decent ball in. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Whistle's gone. That's a foul. 
Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. And that has been cleared. Hugo Fernandez. Andre Silva. Out to the right. It's a fine run and he's happy to keep going. Keeps everyone guessing. It's a brilliant interception. Could move up a gear here, right through the middle. He's on his way. He Matuidi! Goal, France! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Bruno Fernandes. Bernardo Silva. Ricardo Pereira pops it into the area. Time to deliver. Fired in. That right side seems to have become a very good outlet for them now. No doubt this is an area they've identified as a potential weakness in their opposition and they're willing to exploit it. Well, this poses the defence a few tricky questions and the answers have to be hard and fast. Well, that's where he wants it. France have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Matuidi. Hit it. Hits one! It didn't come off, but an audacious effort. Giroud really improvised cleverly there. His quick thinking almost paid off in real style. Played out to the right. And it's Andre Silva. Chance! And again, the keeper stands strong. Yeah, while he won't be happy with some of the defending in front of him, he can hold his head high. That was a fantastic stop. That was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. Just brushed off the ball there. Keeper sends it forward. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Jean Moutinho. Bernardo Silva lobs it in gently and helps available out wide. Titi attempts a clearance. And they've got it back as soon as they gave it away. Gets good distance on it. He 
It's Griezmann! In it goes! Two up and threatening to pull clear! Well, you've got to say, the odds on him missing from there were very slim. I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement, and when all of that is synchronised with the right pass, that's what happens. Things starting to look very comfortable. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Defence has got rid of that. And that's a throw. -in. Pogba, Giroud, and here's Griezmann. Can't get the better of his opposite number. And the referee's awarded a free kick. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal then. And the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Tweedy. He's there to it. Shiru! Oh, that was no routine save. Well, as Tesco Peter, the keeper has just received an A plus grade. Guerrero. Mbappe gets it back. Shiru. That's a foul. No two ways about it. And that's going to be a booking. And the first 45 minutes are up. Any opinion you'd like to express on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? we're off again well this half might require them to produce a plan a b and c leveling the score is easier said than done but that will be the target get back on terms and then use that momentum to go again Pavar Matuidi who's made his mark on this game and here's Griezmann he's through he'll hit it no, not quite. Well, it was hit with great power, Peter, but sadly, not great precision. So here comes the substitution. A 
And it's Andre Silva. Conte. Griezmann. Pavard. He's got options out wide. Cristiano Ronaldo. He's come loose. Some excellent tackling here, and that one a perfect example. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Andre Silva tries to stroke it through. Umtiti. Hernandez, Giroud, chip through, no, no way through there, Mbappe, and here's Griezmann, we've got to see a, a real determination and purpose now if this deficit is to be recovered, no holding back and being patient about this challenge, it's time to roll the sleeves up and, and go for it. And here's Griezmann. And he's shown him a clean pair of... It's Griezmann! And Titi. Popa. Rafael Varane. And Titi. Rafael Varane. Takes it over to the other flank. Hernandez. Titi. Forward it goes. And it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Andre Silva. Bernardo Silva. Shoots! This could fall anywhere! Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, and if he's allowed time on the ball, it opens up a wealth of other possibilities. Point blank header! Picked in his head, but couldn't steer it in. That's alert and sharp, and very well played. Now it's Giroud. Has a pop! Well, that's confidence for you. Distance doesn't even bother him. Andre Silva. Andre Silva hits that long. Pavard can hoist it clear. Ah, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Guerrero plays it in. Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. Conte, Giroud, no complaints about that challenge, robust but fair. Mondi, 
Defending, albeit from an unexpected source. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here. Oh, that's clearly not what he wanted to do. The final five minutes. Sticks in a foot to win it back. Titi plays it forward. Mbappe, and the shot! Oh, that is rather wayward. France making another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honour shift. Cleared without complication. Portugal get it back again. Hoists it forward. Well positioned to make that interception. Mondi. Fourth official showing that there will be three minutes of added time. Looking cross field, changing the point of attack. Now it's Griezmann. He's got away. Is there any support? He might not. Goes for goal! And the referee brings it to a close. Portugal, Eaton here. They might well feel aggrieved, but the result is everything. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Portugal could still be playing, Peter, and probably still be trying to score. It might just be causing some edginess to the camp. So thank you very much, Jim, for joining me. That brings us to the end of our coverage. So from us both, a very good evening. So off we go then. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Paul Pogba. He could be a real game changer for this team, Peter. He's it's Andre Silva. Oh, surely that deserved better. That's a real shame, Peter, because it was beautifully worked. Took the defence out of the picture, but he'll be in no hurry to watch the replay. Tweedy not easily shrugged off the ball. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. He gets past his man. Pepe receives a free kick for that. Referee's awarded a free kick. Mbappe. He's gone for it! Forward it goes. Bernardo Silva. Bruno Fernandes. Giroud. Pogba. Rafael Varane. France have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Hernandez. And here's Giroud. 
And here's Griezmann. Griezmann! More than happy to take the muscular approach. Tries to get it forward quickly. Conte. Hernandez. Kante drives it forward. Going through. It's Giroud! Oh, just lacked a decent finish. The defence did very well to be able to close him down in numbers like that. They basically suffocated his hopes. Varane picks it up from the goal kick. And here's Giroud. Bruno Fernandes. Ricardo Pereira tried to play it through. Oh, Peter, his body shape was a giveaway before. Oh, he's taken out. That'll be a foul. He gets the ticking off and needs to be very careful now. Well, he knew what he was taking on there, Peter, and special delivery from the ref. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Matuidi. And it's Pogba. That's a good foot in there. Yeah, he's pulled him up for that challenge. Well, the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. It's got through and this is gone and the referee has given a penalty. Portugal really could have done without this. Well, the players are pleading, but it's not going to convince him to change his mind now. Well, it was deliberate, it was cynical, and you have to understand the frustration of, of being denied a clear opportunity, but it had to be done. Aimed in towards the... Up to meet it! Oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Portugal can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Moutinho Portugal keep the ball but can't do anything meaningful with it Pogba and here's Griezmann Shiru oh that is an awful miss well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal.
Conte. Matuidi. And here's Giroud. And here's Griezmann. Bruno Fernandes. Good idea, just poorly executed. Andre Silva floats one over. Breaks on here. Gets on the end of it. Shapes the shoot! It's gone a long way up and away. Well, that wasn't too dissimilar to the previous attempt. They're just lacking a cutting edge, Peter. And while that's fairly obvious, the rest of their attacking play is actually quite good. João Moutinho gets it out to the wing. Giroud. Hernandez. Pogba. Matuidi. And it's played forward. It's Giroud! And he's there to make a great save. The keeper really dug out his defence then. A magnificent effort. Griezmann with the short one. That is terrific skill. Matuidi. And here's Giroud. Oh, shooting chance! Giroud, Mbappe, Mbappe, and here's Pogba, Pogba, good take by the keeper, he's read that well. And the whistle goes for half-time, so now the team has broken through, but certainly not for the want of trying, it's been an interesting game up to now, but still goals. Goals at this stage, but certainly not devoid of action. It is nil-nil here at half-time. The action is back on the way. Nil-nil then, and we're back on the way. And here's Griezmann. Giroud plays it out to the wing. And it's Matuidi. Foul and a free kick in a very dangerous area. And no surprise, that's a booking. Well, the protest continues, but in the end, they are defending the indefensible. It was, it was a sterling effort, and at least he kept it on target. It was, yeah, it was worth it, though. Chance to break. Ruben Diaz simply had to make that count, and he did it with some authority, too. Wonderful. Has he picked it up? And the shot! 
skipper has made such an important difference to put them in the lead again that they can't afford to retreat and defend for the rest of this second half. To do that would invite trouble. Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Portugal take the lead, 1-0. Surprise, surprise, he just keeps on delivering, and listen, we all expect that. Hoists it forward. Conte. Hernandez. And here's Ben Yedda. Now it's Griezmann. Who's ball? Who's going to get there? He's in, surely! Well, that's pretty clear, it is a foul. And he has taken a Tim Bure of this, a second yellow, and that means red. Players protesting furiously, but there's little or no sympathy from the ref. Portugal are down to ten men. Defending of the desperate variety. Pizzi. Andre Silva. Hernandez. Your impression so far, Jim? There's a lot of football still to be played, Peter, so ideally they need... Griezmann! It's wide, but only just. Griezmann probably tried a bit too hard then. He should have relied on technique as opposed to power. Portugal are making a change now. Ruben Dias. Mario Rui goes on a charge down the left. Havar. Matuidi, and he has been fouled there. Oh, that's a booking, always looked it. Havar. It's a loose ball. France showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Oh, this isn't the time to talk about risks now, Jim, is it? They just have to hurl everything at it and hope for a break. Well, there's no two ways about it. This is what they have to do. And here's Ben Yedda. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Cristiano Ronaldo. Goes for goal! His reputation is better than what we've just seen. Pavar, Pavar plays it forward. 
Peter, they have to fight the onset of desperation and keep enough cool heads to still deliver. And he's... It's Ben Yedda! And it's Conte. And here's Matuidi going for goal! Good challenge. Excellent challenge. Mbappe! And in again. Oh, taken with style. France are back on level terms. Louis Patricio did well the first time. Nothing he could do about the follow-up. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, that goal just serves to give them the momentum and cycle. It's Andre Silva! And that's a real chance missed. Well, maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead then. Portugal have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Ricardo Pereira goes looking. Ball through needs to be good here. This is gone, that's a foul. Portugal with a set-piece chance. So, to pass or to shoot, that is his question. Titi has more to read it and intercepts. Havar, and he's certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Now it's Griezmann, oh, he's caught him, in or out. Oh, the protests are futile, the decision is made, late, late drama. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal there. He was just never going to miss. Well, the keeper probably felt he could read that, but he's guessed completely wrongly. He's going to the other side. Having turned the game on its head, now can they hold out? It looks to be the correct call, Peter, and in the circumstances it really had to be. Oh, it's Ben Yedda. Pepe gets it back. Hoists it forward. This is promising. He's left his man. A oh, great ball! Cristiano Ronaldo. 
Matuidi, and it's played forward. He's got away. Ben Yedda! No mistake! And surely that clinches it! There really is no way back now! That really is quite fabulous. All his own doing. France making another change here. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honor shift. <laughs> France could not have picked a better time to snatch a two-goal lead. Is there still time for a response? Or well, some fans are already on their way out, so... Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Portugal are stunned. They controlled it, they led, but somehow they lost. How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Portugal really were sleepwalking in central defence, and the alarm just never went off. So just time for me to say thanks to Jim for his wisdom and to wish you all a very good evening.